Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is our first April um, video tutorial. I'm not going to dive into Canva yet. The first thing I want to share this month is how to share different links on your Substack. So we're going to talk about links to your other posts, different ways you can show them, um, links to external sites, a few of them, and uh, links to other people's substacks and links to your notes. Um, so we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna share a screen and we will go from there. All right. Make sure I pick the right screen here and just waiting for it to load. All right, so the first thing is, of course, as most of you should know, one way to link is just to highlight the text that you want, click the link button and enter in a URL. So we'll just pick, uh, let's do this one, control C and link. And there you have a embedded link. But Substack allows for prettier versions of links to your own post. So if I just paste the post URL straight into the post that I'm writing, it pulls up this large picture from this post. And then I can click this menu here. And so you can see the large display is what it automatically chooses. I can do a medium display. Um, if you have a subtitle or you've taken the time to put text into the uh, social preview part of the settings, that will show up here as well instead of just the read full story. Um, and then I can also do small display, which um, is nice if you're doing, say, a list of three posts or something at the end of something. So if you're writing a post and you're like, you know, this is number four in a series, Here's the links to the three previous posts. You probably want to use the small one. Um, I use the medium display fairly often um, when I, especially when it has a nice description here, um, especially as the link to my, to a post that I recommend in my welcome email. That's where I will use the medium display. Um, you can edit the caption and put it in here. Um, There we go. And then you can fill it out yourself or edit what it pulls up, pulls up automatically. And you can also uh, convert it to just a simple link default, it says, or you can convert it to the URL. Apparently this gets rid of the menu and you can't convert it back. Um, okay, so that is one way to do that. I'll just put that back in and then we will talk about the next item. Okay, so that's linking to your own post. Now, how do you link to your notes? When you write a note on Substack, um, it will show up. Hopefully you have your notes tab turned on on your homepage. This makes it much easier for both you and your readers to find your published notes. Otherwise, you're searching through your activity underneath your profile. So when you find your note that you want to share with readers, um, and this is especially important if you're doing a notes roundup. So what some people are doing is posting uh, short notes throughout the week or throughout the month and or pictures or things like that. And then they want to do a roundup where they share all of these notes with their subscribers because notes are not automatically emailed to your subscribers. They're only posted to the notes feed. So to do that, you would find the note you want to share, click the three dot menu on the right side, copy the link and go back to your post that you're writing um, and paste it in. And it will pull up the, the entire note here. Um, you can then do several notes in a row if you want to. Um, someone who does a really good job of this is Susie Chase. She writes the um, um, Dinner Party podcast, and she does a notes roundup or roundup of her posts, her podcast snippets, snippets, and her notes at the end of each week. 
Um, okay, so then that's the notes. So the next thing is, um, let's talk about sharing someone else's post. So say you want to link to someone's post that you've quoted, of course, you could always embed that easily. Um, if you share someone else's um, substack, this will then so say that I pull up the heart seed, which is the herbalist I enjoy following, I can copy his uh, substack URL and go back here and paste it in and it will pull up his uh, logo short description title and uh, subscribe bar. Um, I can also share one of his specific quotes. Sorry, not specific quote, sh share a specific um, post. And here we are. So if I copy the URL for his post and paste that in, it has this simple um, link here. So the pretty pictorial ones are only for your own Substack posts. Um, okay, so I'm curious about something that I'm going to test out with you guys here. I wasn't going to do this, but I just want to see how this, if this will work. So in my previous post about notes, you can highlight and share or restack the quote. I want to see if I can do that into an actual post. Like if I copy this link and go to my post, we'll see if that'll work and paste. Okay, so it'll just paste in the full post again, not the quote. Good to know. There's a little experiment there. Everything else I experimented with ahead of time. All right, YouTube. If you have a YouTube video, you can again embed the link, of course, but you can paste in the link and it will pull up the play screen and your people can just play this right in your post they don't have to go to youtube in order to play it they can play it right here on substack which is kind of nice instagram has a similar thing i don't know if it's gonna let me do that or if it's probably going to reload oh there we go copy link and i can go over here and share this reel and it will pull up the instagram post right there. Um, clicking this will open up Instagram specifically and that link with its uh, comments, it won't play the reel right in your Substack. Um, you can also do that not just with a reel, but also with a post from Instagram. Um, okay, so those are the main ones. I tried doing this with Facebook and with LinkedIn and it does not work, at least not in Firefox. So here's something to be aware of is sometimes when things don't work in one web browser, um, you can open up a different one and try it there. So if it doesn't work in Firefox, it might work in Safari. Um, it might work in Edge or in uh, Chrome So and vice versa. Um, I prefer to use Firefox, but um, oftentimes any of the Apple stuff, if it's something new that Substack has added, it'll work for Apple users before it'll work for um, those of us who just use uh, PCs and um, uh, Androids. Sorry, I'm in awe here today. Okay, so that is the basics of how you can put links into your posts in several different ways. So hopefully you find that useful and can uh, make your posts look as exciting as you want them to. All right, so bye for today.